Hey, welcome back, everybody. It's Friday, so it's another Mail Day, Mail Day, Mail Day episode where we open the week's purchases and packages that we have this week. We've only got three, so it should be a relatively quick Mail Day episode. Let's get right to it. They're all eBay purchases and probably vintage TTM fuel. What do you think? Pretty good bet each week. This is coming from Remember When Cards. eBay purchase. There's a Bobby Chance right there on top. That's some vintage TTM fuel. It's a 61 tops, I think. Flashback, they had some... Um, there's the uh, card. 61 tops they had a flashback to all the other mvps bobby shant signs for five dollars a pop and usually does a lot of inscriptions maybe we should send him 10 and see if he'll do a lot of inscriptions mike shannon just got a card of him i think it was a 68 tops recently harry finock i don't know if he's still living or not but mike shannon's rookie card on the 64 shant's was what 450 shannon was 450 George Culver, we got his uh, 67 tops, I believe. He's on 66 or 67, also a dual rookie star card. Send both those to him. He's a great signer. He always sends extras to folks. George Culver, I think he threw a no-hitter too. $7.99 for that, probably because Tommy Agee's on there. Pretty popular Met. Ken McMullen, 68 tops. That was a couple bucks. And Ken Aspermonte, one of the Aspermonte brothers. That's his rookie card. Really good condition, except for the centering. 58 tops rookie card for 450. And then Mr. Bob Veal, the old pirate, uh, left-handed flamethrower, 65 tops. That was 350. Pretty cool. On to the next. I believe this is just a. No, that's this. Right there. The, one of these is just a one card. See if I can get in here without hurting the card. Coming from a seller out of Pittsburgh. Threw in some extras, I believe. Sure did. That's the one we bought, the Ozzie Newsom rookie card. We've gotten this card a few times now. Sent it to Mr. Newsom. He usually signs right there in fine black Sharpie. It's his rookie card. In fact, I think we have one of those off with Garrett, the card cutter to get uh, slabbed at PSA. So that's pretty cool. And here's some cards he just threw in. Curtis Martin from University of Pittsburgh. Born from the city of Pittsburgh as well. Kind of a strange feel to these cards. Fleer Gamers. 2000 Fleer Gamers. Air McNair. Tim Bekabatuka. Jake Reed. Vikings and Saints. Kurt Warner. American Underdog. Cade McNown from UCLA. Brett Favre. Pretty cool. From Southern Miss. Wayne Krebet. Dear Yvette. <laughs> and Heisman Trophy winner, Eddie George, who won the 1995 Heisman, I believe. All right, next up. Should be a group of cards, more than just the Aussie. Thank you for the extras, Mr. eBay Sales. Ooh, Eddie approved blue tape on this. We shall cut here and see if that's the weak point. Get these other cards out. Whoops. There we go. TM Fuel. Got these two John Jefferson rookie cards for a dollar a piece. Couldn't pass that up. And then once you made one purchase, it was free shipping for the rest. So I looked through there. I haven't seen that card at all, which is kind of surprising because I'm a Staubach collector. And I've got a lot of Clemente cards in the same, uh, same set. Baseball all-time greats. Got a bunch of those Clemente cards. That's a Staubach card. Pretty cool. You could read, pause that and read that if you want to. 
in his Navy uniform. And uh, Tony Gonzalez, I think that's his rookie year. 97 Fleer medal. Yep, 97 medal. He's in the Hall of Fame. Great tight end. 44 there in that picture. 88 there. And then, of course, 86, I believe. And then um, 88 with the Chiefs in his Hall of Fame career. Well, believe it or not, folks, that is it for the Mail Day, Mail Day, Mail Day episode. Send that off to JJ, the little fee. Get him to sign that. One of the great receivers of the uh, 80s. That's it. What do you say? Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Hopefully we'll come back, see these with ink in just a few weeks. And we'll see them on a TTM video. Speaking of which, I'll have a TTM video hopefully coming up on Monday. And get back into the swing of things after this holiday week. I uh, usually do Mondays and Thursdays for my through the mail autograph videos. A mail day video on Friday and then some sort of box break on Wednesdays. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet. Click on that icon and then you can ring that notification bell and you'll be notified of all my future videos. And if you missed last week's mail day video, I'll leave a link right there and you can watch it for the first time. Or you can watch it again if you enjoyed last week. Thanks for being with me today and we will see you soon.